Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing another Marvel Future Revolution video. In this one, we are going to be talking about the top tier characters for free to play, or even somebody who's maybe cheap to play, but wants the easiest investment in a character or a new player that's looking like, look, I'm trying to figure out if I want to get into this game. What's the quickest or best character I can get to get built up quick and do some semi-competing, all right? So we're gonna go through that because uh, these things can change. If you're new to the channel and wanna check out Discord or help with the YouTube algorithm out, hammer down like buttons, subscribe, all that sort of thing. All right, let's get to it. Bring me Wolverthor. So what I always like to do when I do these is I like to start from the bottom. So there are some that I would say definitely avoid these, okay? These are the characters you absolutely, I would not want to touch as a free to play or a character or person who's new and wants to build and compete in uh, different game modes because it might take too long to get built up, etc. So, uh, and this is, this sort of sometimes will line up with like uh, the tier lists or rankings, but anyway, you get the edit, something not necessarily. First one, magic, avoid. This is, these are somebody I would avoid. Don't build magic. Uh, she's got issues in game right now. There are certain builds that I do think she can uh, maybe, you know, semi-compete, but they really sort of, uh, they really messed her up a bit. And I just think that uh, while she's cool and fun and all the things, I don't think it's somebody that I would uh, consider building. So magic, leave alone, don't touch her. Uh, if she's one of your favorite characters, I get it, but you are going to need to put in a lot of investment to get her built up into a manner that I think you'd feel happy about. Next up, another one that I would probably not touch, uh, even though she's got some builds that are pretty decent uh, in squad battles. And, and, some, and some folks, have builds for her that aren't too bad, uh, that are under uh, 2 million, and they do pretty well, but their stats are really, really honed in, and they've really hard focused at Captain Marvel. So uh, I think that Captain Marvel is a cool tune. I think she's, uh, she's a, she was the first one I started building. She used to be overly dominant, had the, uh, a build that you could basically not even touch uh, her, and she was really, really solid, but now she's really sort of fallen off quite a bit. I think it'll take you some decent investment, but there is going to be a build out there that maybe if you get some refined stats is pretty solid, but I wouldn't touch her if you were in that boat that I was mentioning uh, before. Now, the next character I want to mention that uh, this character, Captain America, he is actually a very strong top tier type character, but uh, you really do need to get him up there as far as feeling dominant um you know i've heard people say things as like two three two four two five two eight is really where he starts to show what he's got um so captain america does need some serious investment uh, i do think he is one of the better top at the top level but uh I, it's not somebody that i would necessarily try if i'm a free to play or somebody who's new and really thinking about you know wanting to get into this character uh I just think that no, no, he's got a. It's, I like, I like that they've got. This is the thing about this game, man. Like it is just so, so pretty, so pretty. This golly, look at the detail on so many things. Anyway, so Captain uh, America, uh, along with those other ones, I wouldn't necessarily touch. Now, uh, the next one that I want to talk about uh, is Doctor Strange. So Doctor Strange. Uh, can be pretty solid at a super high level. There are some Doctor Stranges that have done good things. Most of the Doctor Stranges in this game have gone on to play other characters. So that probably tells you everything you need to know about Doctor Strange. Now, having said that, there are plenty of Doctor Stranges who are out there who are pretty good. Some of them are at the top power level of the game. Some of them have refined their stats in a manner where they're really good at maybe Spec Ops or they've got certain uh, dark uh, dimension dual builds where they can uh, be untargetable for a bit and be able to fight and nuke you when they're, uh, they've got openings. But I, uh, I think that Doctor Strange is a character that you're probably going to want to avoid. Uh, in a similar boat, uh, we've got two other characters in here that, uh, that are just sort of at the bottom. Star-Lord, sadly, uh, he, he was at the top. They changed one of his abilities in a special gear, and now he's taking a pretty serious hit. So 
Uh, he has been a character that really just, um, for most of the game, wasn't super great. And then they gave him a little bit of a buff, or pretty big buff. And if you built him in a certain way, he was insanely strong. And then they changed the primary component of that build. And you don't see a lot of uh, Star Lords anymore. So it's kind of like, okay. And so, and if you do, they're typically a little bit stronger. So I wouldn't necessarily jump into him. Now, the other one I would probably avoid just for now is Storm. So she got a nerf to her, uh, specifically with some of her gear and abilities. Now, the ones with Steampunk uh, who had that gear uh, boost when they changed things, they still felt a PVE change. I still do see some storms uh, at the top of the PVE charts, but they are all pretty strong. Uh, I have not seen her do well in uh, any PVP since the change. While I think the bubble build was silly and I didn't necessarily personally like it because it gave such a small window to hit somebody. I think they need to find a way to make her more relevant uh, in the PVP scene. But having said that, I don't think it's a character that I would necessarily touch. So now let's get into the, the five. These are the five that I would consider as best free to play characters or uh, character and I'll go and or characters that you'd want to get into if you're just starting. All right. So the uh, the first one or the fifth one on this list is Iron Man. I think Iron Man is a very simple player to play. You can auto with him in, in almost all different types of game modes and he still executes pretty well versus, you know, a Black Widow who you really need to make sure you sequence your uh, abilities properly or uh, same thing with like a Wolverine. Uh, but he does pretty decent in both PvE and PvP. He does fall off at the higher levels of PvP, and that's one of the reasons that you don't see as many of him um, at that top level. But he is a fantastic character. He, I had him on top tier list for a long time, uh, and he just he really did perform well, and he does still perform pretty well. So Iron Man is the fifth on the list. Um, Fourth on this list is my favorite character in the game, obviously, Wolverine. And the reason that I would pick him is because he is uh, a fantastic character and I think PvE and PvP modes. He is a beast in PvP with untargetables. His ultimate, especially in Omega Wars, is rage inducing because of the knockbacks with it. Uh, it's a fantastic, fantastic character. Uh, he's got great builds. Check out the PvE e build that we put out i have not put out a pvp build on him yet um i think it might be just the obvious one that's out there but uh i wanted to really explore some things if you're if you're really uh thinking about what to do with them i i would probably just lean into whatever gear set you get that's really built out and just run with it as long as it's either eyes of osiris or a steampunk situation and you're probably going to be fine uh, i don't know if i really like the rote on him as much it's probably better put rote on someone like scarlet witch frankly so uh, Wolverine, it comes in at fourth in that spot. Uh, he does do pretty decent at one, two. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I mean, I'm not doing anything serious in Dimension Duels or uh, Mega Wars, but uh, I've seen some two million-ish Wolverines, two, two Wolverines be pretty impactful. And when you get to the three million Wolverines, it's like, holy cow, but that's not free to play, right? All right, next up, uh, third on this list is I'm going to say Black Widow. Um, Black Widow is a character I have played for a very long time. She does great in PvE and she does great in PvP. Uh, I think she is fantastic. Uh, she just, she hits for a ton of damage. She does, she, she checks pretty much all the boxes in game. She has been nerfed probably more than any other character in the game, uh, which is kind of crazy because she's still pretty solid, uh, especially if you wear like the fishbowl uh, helmet, uh, I think, which is probably what everybody should wear as far as a Black Widow goes. But she still does great. You know, uh, top to notch, middle tier, low tier, she does good. You can find ways to compete with her. I, I think she's really, really good. Next up at the number two spot, and you'll probably be able to figure out who's at number one with this one. But next best free to play or new player is Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch is the new hotness. Everybody is finally realizing how amazing she is. And she is amazing in both PvE and PvP. We've got build guides for her. Come to the Discord, check the playlist for build guides. She is fantastic. She just does some insane damage. You gotta understand the sequence. You gotta get the right specs on her. Know what you're doing with her and you are gonna be doing some insane, insane damage with her. I just think she is a top notch level character, if not the best in the game, frankly. So I love Scarlet Witch. If you're thinking about her, you are not going to go wrong. I've seen some 
one eights, uh, some two mil Scarlet Witches do really, really good things. So uh, I consider that. And then the best free to play character in the game is good old Spider-Man. The reason that I say Spider-Man, his dodge, you will be doing well in squad battles. You will do well in any PVP modes uh, at all. Even if you're a one six, one seven, one eight, there are one, some one seven Spider-Man who I will have my 2.1 million widow, my one three, um, Wolverine and my one five, one six Iron Man or one five, one six, uh, Scarlet Witch fight in dimension or in, uh, squad battles. And the Spider-Man will end up, we'll, we'll, all three of them will be dead. And the Spider-Man will have over half health. It's insane. It is just straight up insane. Now, at squad battles, he still does great in a Mega War and Dimension Duel. And if you follow the PVE build that I put out there with Half Send, check those videos out as well. They've got some play, those in the playlist too. He can do some decent PVE damage. Well, you just got to build it up. Now, Half's obviously got a super strong one, but if you're still looking at that build and, you know, picking the certain things that you want to pick as you build up to make sure that uh, you do a decent amount of damage until you get the high, high level of a total damage or attack, he, he's going to, he's still going to su suffice more than what you probably need uh, in PVE and will make up for anything you're not doing in PVE in the PVP game modes. So Spider-Man is definitely the best PV or the best free to play type character in the game. Those are the top five in my opinion. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Do you have a different list? Do you think anything I said in here is totally off base? I'd love to hear it. Please let me know why. What did I possibly miss? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are, all right? So appreciate you making this far, like I mentioned, the front end. If you want to hammer down that like button, notification bell, subscribe. Appreciate you. Until next time, you, I hope you have a wonderful day.